After watching the fourth season of Handmaid's Tale, we were left with a bunch of unanswered questions. But the one that all of us have been wondering was whether June will make her way back to Gilead after the shocking end of season 4. So we decided to dive into it and explore all the possibilities as to why June would go back. Keep watching as we tell you all about Handmaid's Tale season 5, June's return to Gilead. Let's get started. Hannah after Fred's brutal death in the season 4 finale and June escaping Gilead, many have wondered whether or not she would ever return to Gilead after spending years trying to find her way out. Well, the answer is not that simple. So we gathered a few reasons why June would return to Gilead. The first and probably the most important reason for June to go back would be for her daughter Hannah. In season 4, we got to see that June's plan was to escape to Canada and then take Hannah there with her. After a few words of wisdom from Moira, June decided to leave her behind as all these buildings were tumbling around them. Going into Season 5, we do believe that June will be on her way back to take back Hannah with her and protect her from Gilead. However, this might cause a war between June and all the people of Gilead since she caused quite a lot of chaos when she left it. Now, we're not sure whether her rescue of Hannah will cause more harm than good, but as determined as June is, we don't see her leaving without her precious daughter Hannah. June will be put in an impossible situation where taking Hannah away from Gilead could possibly hurt Hannah along the way. So June must have some plans on what to do before she takes Hannah with her so she won't end up in the middle of her and her life back in Gilead. <laughs> Serena since the beginning of the show, we saw Serena as this villain who always had power over June and basically treated her like she was nothing. Being the wife of Commander Fred Waterford has made her feel as if the handmaids have no feelings whatsoever and treated them as such. Throughout the season, we got to see multiple versions of Serena and in season 4 we finally got to see her get pregnant. Her pregnancy raised quite a few questions, but after her husband's death has occurred in the season 4 finale, we can't help but wonder what she'll do once she hears the bad, or shall we say, good news. Even though Fred and Serena had quite a difficult and complicated relationship, in her eyes, he was still her husband, and still has many happy memories from him. However, Serena is pretty smart, so we believe that she would use this news to seek revenge over June, as well as a way to get out of custody. This would force June back into Gilead to finish what she has started and that is to destroy each person who has caused her pain during her time in Gilead. June has already told Serena that no amount of words could describe all the pain she has been through in Gilead, so we can only assume that she would have to show Serena what it was like to serve as their handmaid. We could see Season 5 being a war between June and Serena, while they both also deal with much bigger things in their lives like trauma and pregnancy. I brought myself here so that I could tell you how much I hate you. The Handmaids The other reason for June's return to Gilead could be the Handmaids themselves. June has gone to great lengths to save them all from the dysfunctional world of Gilead and while many have managed to escape, many were also caught by the Gilead soldiers and were returned back into Gilead. June's mission was always to escape the place and bring all the commanders to justice so they can get what they deserve. So we only assume that this is not a thing she could do alone. Janine would be the only person why June would risk her life to go back and show her face in Gilead again, besides her daughter. Over the season, June has begun to see herself as the one person that could protect Janine from the rest of the world, so for June to know that she's back in Gilead without protection, going through the same pain every day, we don't think she would stand that. Season 5 will show us a great war between the Handmaids and Gilead, but we think it would only be fair for June to gather around the Handmaids, rescue them, and help them plot a plan on destroying Gilead. After getting separated from Janine, we have seen how desperate June was and how she didn't want to go anywhere with her, but this time around, we don't think she would have if she were to have Janine by her side fighting with her in her battles. People die in wars, they get their arms blown off. I won't let anything to you. Nick Before Gilead ever existed, June was married to Luke, but after being captured and taken to be a handmaid, she lost the right to ever see her husband. While in Gilead, she met Nick and the two fell madly in love together and had a daughter named Nicole. June and Nick are totally the perfect match and we would hate to see them separated from one another. 
Nick was also the one who helped June to fulfill her wish of murdering Fred while Luke wanted her to forget about her past in Gilead. These are just a few of the little things that make Nick a better fit for June. Being completely in love with Nick, it's only fair that she would come back for him and release him from the hellhole that is Gilead. Now, the question we have here is would Nick leave his life in Gilead behind to be with June and their daughter? This is one thing that we'll have to wait and see in the new season. However, given how much he has done for June in the past few seasons, we only believe that leaving Gilead with her would be an easy thing to do. Elizabeth Moss even revealed that the two have a very high chance of becoming a thing in season 5 and that she believes that June wants to be with him and no one else. So will Nick be on the same page with her? We guess we'll find out. The Future of Gilead Gilead has been a very problematic place since the beginning of the show. Women are taken to be handmaids and serve a specific commander and their wife to bear their children. Not only are they supposed to do that, they're also treated very poorly and almost like slaves, with hats that have wings, as they're called, to stop them from licking left and right and long red robes to separate them from the rest of the people in Gilead. Oftentimes, the handmaids are covered on their mouths, so they can't make a sound or even punish brutally if they do something wrong. This dysfunctional place has been a breaking point for June and the rest of the handmaids that all of them were searching for a way out. Even though June has managed to escape it, we can totally see her coming back one last time so she could take down Gilead. While she has managed to kill the person responsible for her pain, she doesn't appear to gain closure from it and could potentially go back and put an end to all the things that are happening in Gilead as well as facing Serena and Aunt Lydia, giving them a piece of the pain they have inflicted on her and finally be even by her books. However, we still don't know whether this would bring peace to June or will just cause more rage towards more people involved in the creation of Gilead. We all know that Gilead has now become a part of June's life and no matter what, she would never be able to leave her past behind as it still lives with her every day. Maybe the taking down of Gilead will be her last chance of freedom and peace so she could finally enjoy some time relaxed and with her daughters. To me, please. Whose fault was it? On a related note, we wanted to know, what do you guys think will happen to June in the upcoming Season 5? Let us know in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more amazing videos such as this one, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.